Are you looking for the best drones? In this video we will look at some of the 9 best drones on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1, DJI Mini 2 Say Drones. The DJI Mini 2 Say is the best drone you can get for less than $350. It sports a stabilized 2.7K video camera that also snaps 12MP photos as well as includes GPS and Find My Drone functions. Its 249 grams takeoff weight means you can fly it without dealing with far registration, you just need to pass an online knowledge test. We also like the Mini 2 says nearly half hour flight times, stable performance at its 400 foot altitude limit, and reliable connection to the required smartphone app. We just wish DJI had managed to build in obstacle detection sensors. The Mini 2 say is the drone to get if you're just starting out and want to record ultra smooth 2.7K 30 footage from the air. Raw format imaging is also available for photogs who like to post process. Number 2, DJI Mini 3 Pro Drones. The DJI Mini 3 Pro is the most capable ultra light drone on the market. It's 249 grams takeoff weight, with a 34 minute battery, means you can get around far registration, though creators who don't mind forms and fees can add in an extended life battery to push flights beyond 45 minutes. 3-way obstacle sensors, automated flight modes, and 4K60 video round out the feature set. We especially like the APAS function, an autopilot that can navigate through complex spaces all by itself for low to the ground use. If you've looked at the Mini 3 and wanted a bit more, the Mini 3 Pro is a sensible step up. Drone enthusiasts, cinematographers looking to add a B camera for aerials, and creators who don't mind spending a bit more for smart obstacle avoidance should find the Mini 3 Pro to be a worthwhile upgrade. It's also a good match for TikTok influencers because it supports vertical 916 video. Number 3, DJI Air 2S Drones. The DJI Air 2S has a camera with an oversized Type 1, also called 1 inch sensor for much better 20 MP stills than you can get from the DJI Mini series drones. It supports 5.4K 30 and 4K 60 video with HDR, flat, or standard profiles, plus it can snap photos in RAW or JPG format. DJI's strong safety features are here too, including GPS location, obstacle sensors, ADSB to warn you of nearby manned aircraft, and a 30 minute battery. The Air 2S is a compelling drone for stills first creators. The Type 1 sensor may lag behind quad bayer chips in pixel count, but captures a wider dynamic range, so photogs have more leeway for edits to exposure. Video pros should appreciate the 5.4K resolution and choice of three profiles too, but you may want to step up to a Mavic 3 for more serious cinema work. Keep in mind that you must register this drone with the FAR. Number 4, DJI Mavic 3 Pro Drones. The DJI Mavic 3 Pro's big 4 thirds format sensor with a Hasselblad color profile delivers class leading footage and stills straight out of the camera. All around obstacle sensors allow the drone to easily bypass obstructions. An integrated GPS keeps it steady in the air and 35 minute flying times, in testing, make for safer flights. Film producers can upgrade to the ProSign, $4,799, addition to get a 1TB SSD, ProRes 422 video support, and the RC Pro Remote, while anyone on a budget can opt for the $1,599 Classic Edition which drops the telephoto cameras and internal storage. The Mavic 3 Pro is ideal for cinematographers, indie filmmakers, vloggers, and other creative professionals. It's heavy enough to require far registration and you need an operator's license to use it for paid projects, 
but it's still easy to bring along for location work. Number 5. DJI Mini 3 Drones The DJI Mini 3 is the drone for pilots who aren't satisfied with the starter camera on the affordable DJI Mini 2 but can't quite justify the Mini 3 Pro. Highlights of the camera include support for 4K 30 video with an HDR look in either vertical or landscape orientation, as well as 60 degrees of upward tilt. The photo quality is good, too. The camera supports 12MP JPG or DNG snaps, while the F1.7 optics do a good job at dawn and dusk. Safety features include GPS, Find My Drone and return to home. Its 249 grams takeoff weight means you can fly it without dealing with FAR registration, you just need to pass an online knowledge test. We also like the 38 minute flight times, though we wish DJI had worked obstacle detection into this model. Creators who want a dual aspect drone for TikTok and YouTube should consider this drone. It conveniently streams live video straight to a smartphone app is capable for stills, and remains stable even when you fly it near the 400 foot altitude limit. If you don't want to spend quite so much, $560 with a remote, the Mini 2 is the best alternative. On the other hand, if you can spend more, the Mini 3 Pro adds useful obstacle avoidance sensors. Number 6. Auto Robotics Evo Light Plus Drones. The Ortlevo Light Plus uses a Type 1 sensor camera for picture quality that's competitive with the DJI Air 2S, with the additional benefit of a variable aperture to cut incoming light without the need for ND filters. The folding drone can fly for around 40 minutes on a full battery and supports three-way obstacle sensors to prevent mid-air accidents. The Ortlevo Light Plus is a capable camera drone for creators who don't want to support DJI. Its 6K camera is capable and, although we wish we could fine-tune the video profile, a flat look is available if you want to edit for color. Its price is a knock against it, though, considering the Air 2S costs around $1,000 but you might find the Light Plus to be worth it for extended flight times and to sidestep DJI's sometimes restrictive fly safe opens in a new window, Geofence. Number 7. Ortel Robotics Evo Nano Plus Drones The Ortel Robotics Evo Nano Plus comes in the 249 grams, so you don't need to register it with the FAR though it does include three-way obstacle detection for safer flight. A stabilized camera records 4K 30 video and snaps sharp photos at up to 50 MP. Battery life is very good too, at about 28 minutes. The Evo Nano Plus is a good drone for pilots who want a quadcopter they can take up in the air without baked-in geofencing restrictions like the DJI FlySafe system that some see as restrictive. The 249 grams takeoff weight allows you to use it a bit more freely than heavier drones and the picture quality is very good, with aggressive sharpening being the real knock. The Nano Plus is a good drone for beginner and advanced pilots alike. Number 8. DJI Avata Drones The DJI Avata is an FPV drone one in which you see the camera view through a set of VR goggles, not on a smartphone screen. A nose-mounted camera, motion-sensitive remote, and 30 miles per hour sport mode are the for thrill-seekers. Meanwhile, built-in prop guards keep it flying after minor bumps and downward-facing sensors make low-to-the-ground flights possible. You can slow down and take your time too, if you like, for Sinwoop style long takes to channel your inner score Saisy and Wells. The Avatu is a drone for those who want fast-paced, close to the ground, and elaborately choreographed footage. Take the Avatu up high and you might see some wobble in the camera that you don't get with cinema drones, but you can also bank and turn to convey a sense of motion. We like that it's easy enough for anyone to pick up and fly, though pros can swap a dual-stick remote for fully manual flight at 60 miles per hour. On the other hand, we're a bit put off by just how easy it is to crash, make sure you have a safe place to fly it. Number 9, Rise Tello Drones. The Rise Tello is more of a learning toy than a cinema tool. You can fly the small quadcopter with your phone or a controller, like many others, but this goes a step further with support for MIT's scratch coding platform. If you connect the Tello to a laptop running scratch, 
it can execute commands and macros in sequence, giving kids a fun incentive to learn the basics of coding. This is the one drone on the list that's safe enough for tweens and teens to fly. The Tello doesn't have much power and its 720p camera isn't one you'd ever use for a vlog. But its low cost is appealing to parents shopping for a learning toy, even if some kids might just prefer flying around to programming commands.